Hey, so what's going on guys? Make sure we drop the reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I got sent yet another Apple CarPlay wireless dongle. So I'm not sure what brand this is, but I'll leave the Amazon links in the description below if you're interested to pick one up. But anyways, before picking one up, let's go through the unboxing and see how this performs. All right, guys, so let's quickly go through the unboxing. It's very similar to the other Apple CarPlay dongles, which I've previously unboxed. So you get a sleeve, you get a matte black box on the inside. You get some instruction manuals, I guess. You can see right here. So you can be updated online. Then you get wireless connections and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the whole purpose. You're buying this dongle. Okay, we have the dongle right here. Let's see what else comes in the packaging. Okay, so this one, we do have a USB-C to USB-A connection and also we do have a USB-A to USB-C adapter for those cars which happen to have USB-C especially the latest cars should be 2020 and above I guess okay so we have a pretty versatile uh, accessories right here to get you started let's take a look at the dongle itself so this is a pretty large dongle if you compare with the one I reviewed previously from AutoCast as well as Carling Kit. So far from my experience, the Carling Kit one has been the most reliable and the most stable one as a daily wireless CarPlay dongle. But anyway, so we'll give this a chance. We'll come into this with an open mind. So this is a pretty big box, uh, something like uh, the Xiaomi TV box. The shape wise, uh, of course, smaller. So we do have vents on both sides to dissipate out heat um, and on the back, I'm not sure whether this is the back, but on the back we have a USB-C connection as well as a USB-A. So I'm not sure what the USB-A is for, I believe you can plug your device in here and also use CarPlay wired so you do not have to remove the box uh, unlike the others which I previously reviewed. Uh, but the most important thing for me when it comes to a wireless dongle is reliability. When you get into the car, you start your engine, the radio goes on, this thing must auto-connect to your device. Uh, without you fiddling through the menus on your device and trying to get it to connect and have failed attempts and stuff like this. It's really frustrating if that happens. Uh, fingers crossed that this will actually work out well. So. Uh, Let's move on and give this a try. Okay, so just a little disclaimer is that we're going to be trying it on a Volkswagen Vento from 2019. Uh, but I believe this uh, dongle actually supports any head unit that has Apple CarPlay. So this is not an Android Auto box, okay? Do not get mistaken. This does not support Android Auto. It only supports Apple CarPlay. So if you're using iPhone, good luck to you. If you're using Android, I guess you have to look for other options. So we'll be using this with the Volkswagen Vento's Apple CarPlay unit. So let me unplug the USB cable. Let's plug in the box and see what happens. So plugged into USB-C. Plug into the connection right here. Is there a light? Let's see what happens. Okay, so we do have some reading right here. So you can see phone connecting through Apple CarPlay. Okay, so we get this interface. Honestly, I believe that all these dongles come from the same factory. Uh, do not quote me on that, but I believe they all come in from the same factory. They all manufactured at the same factory. Just they customize the interface to uh, their company's logo, their company's design and so on and so forth. But basically the internals are the same. Of course, they keep on saying that they are better than each other and stuff like that. But personally, uh, connection speed is yes, definitely one thing. But if it's like a millisecond difference, I mean, it's not going to be, you know, a big deal for me. Okay, so let us connect the device to my phone. So let me go into settings right here. Let's go into Bluetooth, I believe. So let's see, we have Volkswagen BED7, which is the one I can see right here. So Volkswagen BED7, let's click on that and see how it connects. So mm, it actually works. So it shows connecting on the screen. And let's see what happens next. Okay, so we have it connected right here. So you can see Waze is right here. Let me just pause that. Okay, so you can see there's a bit of a latency already. 
um, I don't know what get a copyright strike in, or whatever so I'm gonna pause the music but you can see Spotify is here very very simple connection it's almost the level of the Carling Kit version. Uh, I didn't expect much from this dongle to be honest because number one, this does not have a brand. Um, but anyways, the people were kind enough to actually send it out to me and I'm really impressed that it connected this fast. I mean, for a first time connection, uh, my hopes were like, you know, um, I don't think it's going to work. It's going to be another autocast device. I mean, like, you know, the previous autocast one which I actually reviewed was really a letdown. I expected so much from it. I expected it to be even more versatile. But apparently, this one just worked so i'm really really impressed okay so let's uh get some no copyright music on spotify and see how the latency is so let me search it up okay so we do have some ncs tracks right here so we're just going to play a very short one so i'm going to be clicking it on my device as you can see it just works okay let's see how the latency is if i'm clicking it on the screen itself so play and pause there's about a one second delay roughly about one second delay on music itself i mean the audio when it comes out from the speakers uh let's try ways okay let's try ways and see how it goes so let's go to random place let's go to place like this and see how it goes so we do have some latency of course my internet connection is a bit spotty but you can see ways works and basically everything else just works you can see right here the interface is really really smooth and responsive so yes uh really actually impressed uh to be honest by this device so definitely i can recommend it because it works you can see it for your own self that it works i will leave the link description below i believe this goes for around 79 us dollars not the cheapest thing definitely if you're converting it into ringgit it's almost 300 ringgit for a device like this um but anyways more for me is the reliability and well this just works so that's really really impressive uh, of course it's a bigger box if you compare it with the one from the competition but uh well if you can have software updates and especially these USB A port. I think that's a good thing. In case you do want to charge up your device and do not want to remove this, you can just plug your lightning cable into the USB A port right here and keep on going with wired Apple CarPlay. So that's a great thing. Okay, so uh, that's about it for this video. Uh, of course, I will try to do a comparison with all the um, wireless CarPlay devices which I currently have and tested and i will give you guys my full review when it comes out so this works on every carplay device so i believe every carplay device if your car natively supports apple carplay or if you're using something a head unit for example from sony kenwood jvc and stuff like that it would definitely work so i've actually tested it out on a couple of cars uh, including hondas as well so it works uh, but this on the Volkswagen Vento, I mean this demonstration is on the Volkswagen Vento and it works. And I'm really impressed uh, by how the latency is at its minimum uh, for a device like this. Alright, so I hope you guys like this video. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.